Good evening. Welcome to our weekly Let's Chill stream, uh, where we sit, chill with each other, vibe out with each other, and just, um, in essence, enjoy each other's company. Um, tonight's going to be a little bit different. I'll explain why. Then we'll do, whoops, then we'll do our, our typical fun stuff. Um, it's not going to be immediately. Um, and again, all this will slowly be explained as we go through the stream tonight. So don't worry. Nothing. It's, whoa. It's nothing terrible. Um, I want to explain kind of a couple, kind of a couple things. Um, So we'll lead off with that. Um, thank you for joining us. Don't forget to share the stream out, friends, family. We're live on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitch. So uh, go check us out there. Um, share it out with your social uh, on your socials with everybody. And yeah. So I hope everybody has had a wonderful week. Um, is hope you're enjoying that. Hey, the weekend has now began. And now we can all celebrate and relax. Um, so yeah, I wanna I wanna start off by really just diving deep into um, almost kind of like where my head has been the last couple days, maybe longer. I don't remember to be honest with you. Um, so we'll start with that. We hit the five minute mark, so it's right seven. So it's usually the time I start off with announcements. Um, first things first, uh, one of the bigger changes, and some of these will be change oriented, some of these won't. Um, one of the bigger changes is we are going to move our streaming to weekends, um, Saturday and Sunday at seven um, instead of Fridays, uh, because most of my audience are teenagers, and go figure, they have school on Fridays. <laughs> so. Um, I, it's an oversight by me uh, that I didn't encounter when we got back into the fall. So that will start next week um, on the 16th and 17th. So, um, so get ready for that. That'll be fun. Um, I did not get through Super Mario Sunshine yet to get us up to the point of finishing it. So that is also part of why we're kind of taking a different stab at tonight and just vibing right now um, because I just didn't, I never got around to it. Um, different things have come up and I don't have a better excuse than that. So, but it's okay. So uh, when I do get that finished, which I am going to do my best to make a better attempt at it, um, very, sh very soon. Um, I have some other things I'm working on right now that are taking a little bit more of my time. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, I know we talked about a special stream in a couple weeks, I think at this point. Yeah, about two and a half weeks. Um, I'm a, I will have some more information on that here very soon. Um, again, it's one of those projects that um, I have kind of on my back burners right now, but trying to trying to get my head around has been a little bit of a struggle. So that's that is still coming. I promise that with hopefully a special announcement as well. I gotta I gotta really dive into this. But um, as I said, some other stuff has come up and um, kind of. Not derailed me, but I guess better term is distracted me from it. Um, so yeah, so bear with me on that. Um, hello again. I've seen we got a couple more viewers um, than before, so hello. Um, let me know in the chat how your day has been, how your week has been. Um, I always forget that it's a week from when I see each other, from when you and I see each other. Sometimes it feels like a day. Sometimes it feels like a month. So. Um, I always, time always gets away from me when I do these streams, so, um, so yeah, let me know how you're doing down in the chat, where, wherever you're watching from, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. 
Um, I'm trying to think where I want to start. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I got I got a lot of thoughts in my head that I want to. I both want to get out, and I there's stuff I do need to c both inform you slash kind of talk through you with, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm also having to create the the proper boundary to be like not oversharing, not gossiping, just kind of airing out what what's in my head. Um. So yeah, I'm kind of in this kind of weird area. Um, to be quite honest, um, my motivation has been in a really weird place with streaming and all that, um, the last couple of weeks and really just with, um, my work in general. Um, I haven't really focused in on it yet. Um, to at least find out the root of it. Um, it's something I'm hoping to do very soon, but it's one of those cases where I just haven't um, gotten to that point yet. And just my own attitude towards at least like our online world has been very just blah, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um I think part of the reason is I got out of the cycle of recording uh, for such a long time. Um, I actually just did some recordings, part uh, parts of videos that will be coming out very soon. But I also sit back and realize afterwards that I hadn't done any like official recordings aside from Sundays since at the end of August. I think it was like August 22nd, before I went on vacation. I know that much. So, and I know that was the last week of August. So it's been close to six weeks since I've, um, since I have to, since I've had to record a video before. Um, so I think part of me has gotten out of the rhythm of it where I would normally be recording a batch here, letting the series finish and then recording the next batch, letting this, um, over the summer, I did four series and batch recorded two in a day before. And I just my mood and my mentality with them have been so, like I said, blah, that, you know, it almost feels like my own motivation has been killed. Um, and that's not to say that I'm not wanting to do anything. Um, that's actually far from the truth. Um, I, I, I do kind of feel like the the Holy Spirit is moving this part of the ministry to um, really just dive headfirst into gaming and this side of things. Um, and part of me just hasn't acted on it yet, which is my own doing um, for a variety of reasons. But part of me just really feels like unknowing, unknown Part of me feels like I don't know where to take this um, ministry at at this point. And I think part of that, part of me is scared because of that. Because I've, you know, I've worked in for this church and for our ministry for six years. And this is really one of the first times where I feel like I don't have a direction. And have been feeling so stagnant in what we were doing, what we've been doing, that it feels so, I guess, out of character. And it almost feels like, you know, the husk of me goes in and works and all that too. But like the, the other part of me, hey Alexis, um, the other part of me is in this very like dark bubble that doesn't know where to go and if that bubble pops everything collapses and trying to work through that 
while also maintaining what we have. It has been just a lot. <laughs> um, and again, a reminder, I am a one-man team. Um, as far as online media goes, as far as in-person stuff goes, well, as of right now. Um, but as far as running our ministry, I it is me that is pretty much doing the legwork in it. And I'm working on that part as well. Um, and I'm at this point where it's just like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm not saying I'm done or I'm not saying, you know, quitting. I'm just far from that. But I'm at this point where it's like I'm I'm stuck. I think that's the best way to explain it. I'm just I'm stuck. Um and there's a lot of things that have come up in in, in between last Friday and this and today that has been going on behind the scenes that um part of it I can share, part of it I can't because it's uh personal and brings up that whole boundary thing um but one of the things was um trying to get back in person um because we're we're close i mean we're we're almost at like the border of like okay we're ready <laughs> to do it and obviously covid has, has sidelined us for 18 months but now we're facing a whole it's not a new problem but it's a more immediate problem and it's uh volunteers um you know per our rules and per liability concerns and per our protection policy um it can't just be me and i've put different things out there to try and get flow going and nothing has come back for our youth ministry which is where the main programming would start and that's where it's been really hard. It's been hard to accept that, you know, after 18 months or so, there's just this next roadblock that's now in the way and the next hurdle we have to go over. And I'm trying to figure all that out. And there's some behind the scenes stuff that I can't share, but... It's really just a point of feeling feeling stuck. Um, so if you notice, and, and I do want to also say too, I am feeling better than I did last Friday. Um, I can sh I'll share this because it's me. Um, I've been in a routine now of trying to take care of myself a little bit better. Um, trying to develop like a morning routine where, you know, I'm washing my face, brushing my teeth, all that kind of stuff because your boy was terrible at that. And um, what I think happened, and it's been the only thing that has made sense, is um, getting into the habit of regularly taking care of my teeth. My sinuses opened and everything that was congested just decided to come out. <laughs> um, and I apologize if that's TMI. But um, on Friday, it really, that was really like the first day of it. And it kind of hit me out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting it. And um, all that lasted for probably over the weekend. And then my body started getting re realigned again. So right now I'm feeling great. A um, little bit of a sore throat, but I should say a little bit of a scratchy throat, but um my sinuses, I can tell, are still trying to get adjusted. And with Michigan weather, <laughs> sinuses are all over the place. So um, it's just one of those things. But I am feeling a whole lot better. So I wanted to air that out at the same time. Um, but, yeah, so I, um, I'm out of I, – I don't want to say I'm out of my ideas, but um, for online – because I also know our youth are – burnt on online videos um a lot of the things for them in my opinion and from what i know have gone back to in person again and this is still the one thing that is not so trying to 
create something that engages with them, trying to get them to buy into it, trying to get them to, you know, cope still with not being in person and um, listening to the feedback that they've had too, which, you know, is frustrations of not being in person too, or I should, shouldn't say frustrations. I should say more so grief with not being in person too, grief that I share deeply. Um, I think all of that is, all of that just kind of, I want to say even caught up with me. Um, and that's been this kind of like this, this another weight that has been put it on, that's been put on top of things. And, um, it's hard for me to get, you know, to try and still stay in this, you know, creating, engaging, fun content stuff when the audience that I'm creating it for are burnt out with online stuff. So, um, because obviously I don't want to go dark on social media. I want to still do something, but um, I don't know what that something could be <laughs> at this point. So that's that's why I'm I'm, I'm in this really stuck place, um, and I know it's momentary. I know it's just this season right now, and we will be getting out of it. But uh, I mean that's that's part of why my motivation to finish. Uh, sunshine didn't happen because um, I was getting burnt with sunshine as well. Um, I think I painted too high of expectations to um, get it done in a short period of time. Then when I finally hit the goal I thought it was to get to Bowser, um, and it turned out it wasn't, you know, it killed it killed the vibe right then and there. So that's why I said, well, I'll do some grinding off screen, and I am recording it. Um, done one part but um i am recording it and we'll splice it together for a fun compilation um but like even gaming anymore just does not feel does not feel like the vibe that i'm ready to dive into um and i and i do this isn't going to be three hours of me just sitting here talking to you guys um we, we are going to do something um, I don't know what that something is yet, but we will be doing something. I have a couple ideas. Um, but yeah, even gaming just has this really, really odd demotivator for me. Um, and that's hard to say because any, you know, half of my content is gaming related. Um, so it's, it's, it's hard to admit that even. And, you know, and again, I really want to paint big picture. This, this isn't me saying that, you know, we're quitting, we're done. This isn't me saying that. I mean, shoot, I just said we're going to go to streaming two days a week on the weekends. Um, but trying to figure out what to do in the meantime while balancing all the in-person stuff, um, which I'm working on four different things I think right now because I'm working on figuring out you know where our volunteers are at how to recruit more all that working on our in-person format and getting that squared away I will be working on a fundraiser here very soon for our in-person kids and I will be working on um it must be you guys that I'll be working on I don't remember what my fourth thing was I knew there was four but then I tried to vocalize it and the fourth one left the building so, um, and again, and I, I always want to reinforce this, like, I am a one-man team. Um, I've had different people who I've bounced ideas off of. I've had different people who have, you know, help, helped in person, helped some stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it is just me. Um, and that's hard. Hard, and if anybody from my church watches this, I'm not saying it as a way to guilt anybody. Like that is the furthest thing from my mind. Um, I'm saying this just to prove a point. No, that's not even right. I'm saying this to show this is where I'm at. Um, and I'm having, I'm struggling to work out of this. Um, this has been a kind of a mood 
that has been going on the last two weeks. Um, and I, I believe it does pull from more personal stuff um, that I've been working on uh, with my therapist, with myself. And I think it's I think it's stuff that is coming over, um, but I don't know for sure. I know this does play a part in it, um, but I don't know if this is caused by something else. Um, I think this is just a thing that exists. This is just a thing that is. Um, so yeah. Um, I could go on more, but anything else I feel like I say would feel like it's ta I'm talking in circles. Um, and I hate when I do that because it just feels like I'm hearing myself talk more so than anything else. Um, but that's really a very vague, <laughs> very broad, that's a better word, a very broad overview of where my brain has been the last couple weeks. Um, because trying to figure out, I've been trying to figure out, well, one of the things um, I've been working on is trying to separate myself from my work. Um, and as much as I throw myself at my work, it's it's been hard to create that separation, but we're finally getting to that point. And I'm in this point of like, I don't know who I am um, in trying to figure out what I like, what, I mean, what's me, who is me, and... Um, while not trying to focus on the work me, um, because work me is where I've been focusing for so long that I've left the real me somewhere else. So trying to figure all that out has been um, a struggle. And that's why I do say that I think, you know, some of the personal work I've been doing is kind of residually coming over to this side. Um, and obviously that's not my intention. I, I have to keep a good persona up for for you guys, you know, I, I can't let personal stuff affect me, uh, affect the work me, <sighs> but when it's been such a long lasting problem and not having really anybody to, other than my therapist, not really having anybody to just vocalize this with, um, I should say to not feeling comfortable enough to vocalize this with anybody, um, I haven't, I haven't gotten through this part of the journey yet. Um, and I'm, I, I also want to say too, I am okay. Um, everything I've talked about is more so just mentally tiring and confusing and uncomfortable <laughs> for lack of a better term. But, um, overall I am okay in all honesty. Like this has been the best I've taken care of myself two weeks over the last two weeks. I mean, Enough to where, like, I'm disconnecting an hour before bed. My tech devices are in another room away from me. I'm using the Calm app, and I got a, <laughs> I got a big speaker right next to me so I can really hone in on it. Um, you know, I'm developing my morning routine, meditating again. Um, so I'm getting getting better physically. Um, and I know I'm in this just this point of, of uncomfortableness, but I I guess I was not expecting it to hit me as hard. So um, so yeah, um, just honestly a broad overview of where I've been mentally the last couple weeks. Um, there's a lot of cool stuff that I'm working on too. Um, Minecraft Meditations comes out next Wednesday, uh, which I gotta finish recording and editing, uh, which I gotta finish recording first. Um, but I'm close. I got. Uh, I'm, I have to record these in two parts now, uh, with the structure I have them in, uh, or I need I need to record them in two parts with the structure I have them in, and I record the second half of October's lessons. Um, Thursday, and I'm hoping to record the first half of October's lessons uh, Monday, and that way Tuesday I can just work on editing thumbnails, get them scheduled, and kind of breathe for for a minute, <laughs> um, because 
um, like I said, intermixed with everything else that it's like, can I? <laughs> so, and I'm just trying to figure out, I guess, directions again. Um, definitely being out of in-person ministry for 18 months, almost 19 months. Um, 19 months, October 13th. And it's, no, actually 19 months, October 11th. Wow. Um, it's, it's relearning all this again. And unfortunately, I'm not in a place where I can, um, in essence, pick up where I left off. And I could go into that, but that's one of those things that I can't really share. Um, you know, trying to figure out who we are, what we need, what we want, and everything in between, while also having the confidence to do it too, because yeah, my confidence is just at a at an ATL. Um, it's just been hard. Um, but our God is good. Uh, our God is in the middle of all of this. And our God will guide us through to the other side, whatever way that may look at look like. Um, through all the positives, through all the negatives, our God is a good God who does not create drama, who does not create chaos, but he wrings good out of it. And there will be good that it comes out of this. I, I, I manifest it into existence, but no. But in all seriousness, though, I, I don't foresee a negative outcome in the middle of all this. I see I see a long road. I think that's the best visionary I can best vision I can paint it right now. I just see a long road. And at this current juncture, it feels just like you're traveling down Route 66 in, in the desert. Um but I see the mirage ahead and there's a lot of different turns the road can lead towards and the the sidelines are starting to look like radiator springs if you will so it, it's there it's just now time to hit the ground running and trying to shift again and do that in the midst of everything It's doable. So I just have to operate on God's time, not my own. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, like I said, that is really a broad, a broad overview of where I'm at. Um, so a um, couple of options I thought tonight. Um, I actually just finished watching a playthrough of Delta Room Chapter 2, and I forgot completely that that game is free. Um and since we did play Undertale on the channel, I thought we may play Delta Room. So I did download it. It is ready. Um, I also do have Link's Awakening, which I said would be our next gaming series. Um, after Sunshine. And I did say if I didn't get Sunshine done and ready and queued up for today that we'd just jump right into it. Um, which is an option. Or we can just hang out and we'll do half and half of Minecraft and Animal Crossing. Uh -huh. Or Stardew. We, I, I forgot I still have Stardew on my Switch. So I'm going to kind of leave the ball in your court. Um, I'm going to get something set up for uh, first. And then if we have to adjust, we'll adjust. But. Um, the ball is in your guys' court, so let me know in the chat what you would like to see. Delta Rune, Link's Awakening, or combination Minecraft and Animal Crossing. My mouse was jumping back and forth. Sorry. 
Um, give me a quick second. don't do this all that much so it's is it this no this 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 this, this. I'm trying to I got to figure out again how to um, insert a thing just for a oh, window capture that's what I needed and then I can just be this. I should be able to do this. Okay. So I, I am in the mood for Delta Rune, to be honest with you. So not seeing any responses, which is okay. Um, but I think that's what we will play. So let's, say let's get it set up. So I'm starting fresh from chapter one because it's. Are you? Are you there? Oh, actually, give me a second. Because I can do this now. Are we connected? Is what is that? I wasn't paying attention. Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head. All right, give me one more second, because I need to update what we're playing. Select the head you prefer. Something about this one. Select the torso that you prefer. Like that one. Select the legs that you prefer. that one. This is your body. Do you accept? Yes, I accept. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its, what is its favorite food? Well, if it's going to be like me, um, salty. Your favorite blood type. I don't even know my own blood type. Um, AB, just because it has two letters. What color does it like the most? Blue. Please give it a gift. <sighs> you know, if I wanted a gift of anything, it'd be voice. How do you feel about your creation? I'm uh, hopeful. It will not hear. I have hope for it. 
have you answered honestly as best as possible. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yes. Understood. Name your vessel. It's going to be, we'll call it Mark. Normally I would um, pick a funnier name, but we're in a serious mood. We called it Mark. And what about the creator? So, a funny story behind this um, is when my dad and I would wor uh, do work in the same um, city stuff, um, city groups, and all that too, because um, we're both named Mark. I'm M A R C. He is he is M A R K, and um, it was hard for them to call one of us because obviously we'd be both called Mark. So I adopted the moniker Marcus um, for simplicity's sake. So I do like this. Marcus. Excellent. Truly excellent. Marcus. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Your answers, your wonderful creation, will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is... Chris. Alright, hang on one second. Um, my mom and my sister are watching the MLB playoffs downstairs, so um, they get a little rambunctious. So if you hear them, that's on. I'm sorry. <sighs> the beginning, so you guys can't see it too, which I I never knew about this in the w in learning about this, but the top of my box is uh, had different titles. The whole name creation sequence was contact. This part is called the beginning. Chris, Oop. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. Ah, my eyes. I will wait outside for you, all right? Yeah, that's me when I wake up. Okay, so it's this. The drawer is mostly empty except for... A school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff controller. There, oh yeah. Alright, yep. Yep, yep. It's a computer desk, and there are many boxes under it filled with old books. Oh, I read that one. Clothes drawer. Your bed. It's stained. It's a red wagon with a rusty birdcage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. Hmm. It is uncomfortably quiet. I'm not quite sure how I like it. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded, and there's no green. It's only you. The door is locked. It's only me. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. 
There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails. A scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. An assigned copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Wasn't Gerson the, uh, the turtle salesman? Can I play? The oh, I can play the controller. Oh, that's going to be what we do. My hands were getting too jumbled around the keyboard. Oh, bathroom. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot, pizza flavored. Oh my gosh. Oh, hey. Nobody, you guys weren't saying a word. It's my mouse. It's my mouse. Well, hang on. My batteries and my mouse are dying. real quick come on live live mouse come on you were working just fine I don't think I have anything nearby that has a double A battery nor do I feel like running all the way down my stairs to get one. Oh, hey. I need to mute your guys' audio as well. Boy, show you how well put together I am tonight. Oh, my. Hang on for a split second as I go find a replacement battery. BR by oh, I can't get out of studio mode. Uh oh. Well Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Wait, wait, am I just locked into the game? Seems to be almost entirely full. Am I really? I can't tell if my mouse just isn't working or... I think I might just be locked into the game. Hmm. Well, sorry guys. <laughs> I promise I will read everything to the best of my ability. It's a toilet. Flush it? Yes. Yes. Oh. There we go. So now you guys can hear it. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. 
On the shower ledge, there's a small container. Oh. So for Toriel and Asgore. Sorry. Yeah, that bothers me. Oh, well. That's what I get. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. I like the good old days. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stovetop. Stove Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow, it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Such a kid. It's Cheerio, the beloved <laughs> living room chair. It's the TV. doesn't seem to be even plugged in anymore. It's a book of hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when, as we all visit next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Ooh, Israel went away to Look at, uh, what's her face? Wow, I'm drawing a blank. What is her name? Aww. Thanks, Goat Mom. So, does everyone have a... Oh, cr Chris! We thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so, walk around and find a partner, okay? Chris! <laughs> so, Tim's already have a partner. Yo, Chris! Show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner with Snowy. <laughs> now he keeps turning me and saying, Howdy, partner. Like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her. <laughs> What'd you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram! Alright, fine, dude. Ah, uh, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm? You need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not. I actually want to get an A. Oh, I've met people in my high school that are like that. Okay. Hey, Chris. Oh, hey, Chris. What's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry, you barely already asked me. But I can ask Miss Elphis if we can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Not yet. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always... Or no, I should... Voice should be more... Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners. We're, at the ulti we're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. And that's our origin story. Well, do you want to continue? Yeah. Okay, I'll... Okay, I'll ask... Miss Elvis, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort. What? But, but Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what you were saying? She was just saying we are fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... No, what? Uh, Noel, can you please speak up? 
Hi, Susie. Am I late? Oh, n no, you're fine. W we were just uh, ch choosing partners for the next group project, and um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. <laughs> now that every n n now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and y you all know I can't start class without some. H how about this? If no one speaks up, everyone get uh, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? P please. Hey, there might be a box in the supply room in the supply closet. Miss Elphis, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noelle. Susie, s since you came in late last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. And c Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Okay. Did you just... Chris. Chris. Didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Nope. Hmm. You can't even say. Chris. Hey. Hey. Let me tell you a s let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just cause you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking? It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just, let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel? About losing your face. Can we not? Yeah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? I wasn't through with that yet, Susie. Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. So Susie's fun. She's a doll. God, can you walk any slower? Or what? Nah, I get it. 
I'm not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, you freak. She's a doll. Oh, now I got my mouse. Okay. Um, duh, I gotta do something now. Um, uh, I lost my mouse. I know, I see it. It's just not working. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Hey, Chris? Chris? Is it me, or... Is it really dark in there? What's the holdup, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Mm -mm. Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll. Doll, doll. We'll both go in at the same time. See. Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by... I'm assuming it said by now. Hey, Chris, I think this closet's, uh, there aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. Falfus wants chalk so bad she can get it herself. Let's split. What? what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us! Nani? The floor, it's... Burr. Oh, I was gonna just... Downside is I don't have another mouse here to even attempt. Sorry guys, I, I this is gonna bother me until I figure out what's going on. Cause there's some adjustments that I wanna make. Can't tell if my mouse is just overall dead or if something happened to it. <laughs> I don't understand why it worked for two seconds and then decided to quit. Considering my keyboard works just fine and they run off the same dongle. So I don't quite understand what's going on. And I need to move. 
it because um, the game is cut off by my taskbar. <laughs> so it doesn't do me any good. I thought I was doing fine. <laughs> oh. so, all right, sorry. You guys aren't seeing all this, but. At times you see it flickering. Okay. I gotta. Okay. You know what? <sighs> Something's big going on with my computer t right now. You know what it's almost acting like? It's almost acting like it overheated. Like everything's like just now overheated. Can you guys still hear me? My camera froze, apparently. Which is just fun. Whoa. Oh, hey, control does something. I don't understand! I know, it made it worse. Can't even end the stream because I. Hang on. Be right back. Sorry about all of this, guys. I promise I am back. Yay. Okay. Um couple seconds. as well. Sorry, my whole system came apart, so just give me like two seconds. That's just how it's going to be. Actually, now if I do something like this... Just to actually, I'd rather me down there, so I'm blocking all that crap. Okay, 
So yeah, this is just gonna be okay. Good, good. Everything's good. That's not back online for some reason. That would be. That is now back. Everything seems back to normal-ish. <sighs> okay. We're back. So sorry. Yeah, I plugged my thing. Oh, yeah. <sighs> uh, this may be one of those streams where I cut. <laughs> Take it down and cut all this out and re-upload it. All right, let's read that again, shall we? At times, you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... I save. <sighs> I'm praying <laughs> the rest of the stream goes better. I'll go a little bit longer tonight, too. Um, just because of everything going on. All I see noises. It's too dark to see anything. What was that? Something up there. Really? Nothing with the eye. I'm not gonna talk about the eye. Alright, no, that's cool. Or that eye. Alright, now, n now that's just a face. Right, I think it's the right. Ooh. There's something glowing inside. Take it? Sure. You got the glow shard. I got a glow shard. Whatever that is. I got it, though. <laughs> Why is that one outlined in red? Ah. Ah. It's good I switched to the uh, controller. You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had had melted away. HP fully restored. The eye puzzle. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Oh, I see. Low. Hey, back off. Come any closer now. C Chris. Whew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dummy. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here, anyway? Doesn't matter. You got us into this mess, you get us out. Lead the way, Chris. Yeah, so I completely forgot there was swearing in this game. Oh my god. 
Never mind. You walk way too slow. Yeah, we'll probably move and switch games. It is just a night. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Duh. It looks like you dead. R run, Chris! Ah. Let me. <laughs> oh, pro champ. Pro champ at life. Okay, either I'm doing really well or this is easier than I thought. Chris, down here. Oh, whoa. I just want the next save point and then we'll stop. Oh, you're not mid. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. In front of you stands a ca uh, in front of you. A castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. Yes. Alright, that will be where... Howard. <laughs> because I can't allow swearing. Sorry. I forgot, Undertale only had it like in a couple lines, but this game I remember having it in more than a couple lines. So I definitely can probably not get away with that. So. <laughs> That's the wrong cat. <laughs> not gonna play baseball. Although I should have calmed me down. Let's play some basketball, actually. I don't get to do sports streams. And by golly, this has been a rough stream. So we're going to play some sport ball. If you don't like it, yeah, there's you. Sport ball 101. Okay. I shouldn't watch it. I should actually, you know, play it. You've seen the trailer. You've heard the buzz. Well, today we're getting more NBA 2K22 details straight from the source. Here's gameplay director Mike Wang. So I will say, yes, I know t uh, 2K22 is out. I'm not about paying 60 bucks for this when I know Christmas time I can get it for half price, essentially. A confident and well-dressed group of 76ers making their way to the locker room earlier on, looking for success on their home court. Ben Simmons and Seth Curry. What a fantastic look at the skyline here in the cradle of liberty. We're coming to you from Philadelphia. I'm Cleveland. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. With Greg yeah, Anthony no, and Brett Berry, this is Kevin Harlan. Um, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge on the sideline. I am the point guard for and the Cavs. And look at the starters for the Cavaliers. There We've I got am. Kevin Love. I know it's Colin not me. Sexton I'm not about this one. I'm just taking them Then it's Steve. Williams. And it's so. Drummond in at the center, filling out the middle. And for Philadelphia, they've got Curry. Mike's got out there with Let's Green. do it. Then it's Simmons. And it's Howard at the ball. The All right, cool. And the Cavaliers Let's to start do it. Out. In these this teams, is where I get both my among the league's better defenses, Brent, with advanced stats and tracking, do you think it's getting easier to measure hey, and quantify nice. what goes assist. into great defenses? I think there's technology. So I am not the best, and nor please do not take me as a pro. Of the at this. I am not. To I've really played this enough. It's embarrassing amount of hours to be honest with you, but 
that will really help them define how these defenses are impacting some of the offenses and the way they play. Now here's Simmons. I always hate playing Philly because I do get, and he's able to get it back. lined up against and yes, it's good. Game, I am 6'2. I know I am 6 foot. Um, ben Simmons, to my knowledge, is 6'8. If you know anything about basketball, that's not a fair matchup <laughs> by any stretch. There's the pass to Howard. Simmons on the wing. And that comes off the assist so by the White House. Last time I played Simmons, I think he right just torched Excellent awareness on, on that defense. particular play. Or on, uh, yeah. No, on offense. I couldn't kicks play to Williams. Back to Middleton. An easy two points on the layup. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. That's what I do. Really smart basketball and exploiting what I try. That he's I'm not the right best now. at forcing my shots either. Squad. I wish I was better at that. Oh, here's Curry. Um, thankfully, I just got a decent bit of. Find Devine Scott gets it to him, and that's going to be two nice. steps. Gets the whistle nice. on the Good travel. Penalty. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Drum. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. So yes, I was a LeBron. I am a LeBron fan, but I was not okay, one let's check that. Okay, David Aldridge, um, who's reporting from the sideline. Ran it. Yep. You son of a gun, Simmons. Up. Looking to break the tie in this season series, and I asked him what he thought the biggest factor would be tonight. He said it always seems to come down to getting a stop. We have to get our hands up and contest shots. And if that doesn't work, our guys in the back have to block the shots. Get in. That's one of the ways they win games, Kevin. And one. Let's go. They'll be trying to lock it down defensively. Guys, what do you think? If you want to avoid a run and gun type of situation, this is the approach. You need to take. Well, slowing the pace is easier said than done. How will they go about it? So I am built more so close range assist maker. Um, I do not have my three <laughs> my three game up yet. Um, but I am I love assessing. And um, that one falls to William. I remember when I was the getting into the my player the stuff. Field. Um, Outside I had, had, had my like 30 plus assist games just because I was in love. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Actually, it's And now the fast break, Middleton with the Williams ball. Williams again to Middleton. Williams, that's good. No, you know, you're going to have Williams. success when ah. you can start out shooting 80% nice. from the game. So early right. offensively, they've been they're great. They're not killing us that's this bad. That's the way you like to start. Um, Oh, yeah, poor defense is coming off a stellar me. performance against Washington. Because, like I said, I'll let Ben Simmons run. Not my choice, but it's a mismatch. It's a disadvantage. That wide open. Now he's automatic from the mid range. I can't the do anything about that. that it's a mistake to give up a shot Simmons like that. It's their point guard. Here's Middleton. Not anymore. That's actually been the last game against Orlando. And guys, the other thing that he did well was just facilitate the offense, pass the ball around beautifully in that one, seriously put on a passing clinic. Williams passes to Middleton, on the clock. Simmons with the defensive effort. Do that. The 76ers so trail yeah, by three. It's been an interesting drama to follow. Um, the Ben Simmons situation over in Philly right now. With the floater, uh, and it's set by Drummond. Not letting that one fly. Drumming using um, his height and wingspan to, the same time to too, deny the shooter. Really for Philly and for the team and those in the NBA um, because um, he's not living up to expectations and his style is just different. So the first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. I always get... Let's get and so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And you talk Although about the perfect veteran type. wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Now, here's Scott. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Takes the three. Green breaking loose. Rebound Andre Drummond. Cleveland leading by three. Sexton kicks to Williams. Drummond working against Howard. Here's Drummond, guarded close, 
and it's blocked by Simmons. How about that one? The balance and in body control. Simmons able to send that one packing. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Simmons. And Green, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. Now here's Middleton. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. He says as he's to the middle. Scott, the pass to Curry. Outside for Simmons. There's the feed to Howard. Banked in off the glass. Howard's got six points. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Middleton the pass to Drummond. To the inside. Howard with the steal. I do really make the, the team oh, here's Simmons. focused. Right now, checking his um, stats, he's averaging over 23 points a game. Pass to Green. He dishes it to Howard. To the paint. And Simmons slams it in. Throw it down, young fella. Simmons is explosive and without a doubt, but of my favorite dunk. And the shot goes in. <laughs> Just get the Six points. points for him. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Now, here's Curry. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. Ben Simmons See, if you get those the shots, that I don't understand how they went in, because here's statistically, love and love shouldn't have. It down. But Love has some height and enough ability to get up and throw it down. The 76ers trail. Curry kicks to Scott. Just look at this height Back difference. Back to Curry. He is a whole head taller than I am. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Are you kidding me? And they're beginning to just flat me? out fall apart defensively right now, <laughs> especially on the interior. The 76ers shooting their first free throw tonight. Tony Bradley's checked in for the 76ers. Now, Shake Milton comes in for Green. Nope, a big shooting. group substitution here for Cleveland. Allen's checked in for Drummond. Which I do think Nance we, comes in for Kevin Love. I think right now I'm getting a line. He's Warhol. checked in for Williams. And it's bit. Garland in for Sexton. And I'm now playing against Ben Simmons, Curry. which is also a Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. Uh, a system change would come typically with a coaching change. And the reality is you also have to evaluate the there we go. Nice. You can't fit that square peg into a round Ooh. hole. Whatever your system yeah, is, see, it's this is where I have to wrap up the personnel you have. my points because I'm not up against them. I, think that's I can handle Seth Curry all the time. The good coaches from the great ones. Here's Curry after the made shot for Middleton. Whew. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. Lays it right, off the glass. There we go. Middleton's got six. There we go. Yeah, I am not good on the road. Philadelphia's gone. Four, there's 15 a game. Almost 10 assists. That's not bad. I mean, I want to make sure I'm in way back. Simmons with it. Six points for him. Curry gets the bucket. <sighs> He's getting embarrassed. Curry's got three of his four shots play to fall, hitting 75%. Middleton with it, and it's Howard picking him up. Back to Middleton. Dish now to Garland. I have Dwight on me. And here is a core roll. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Philadelphia. Trailing by two. Pass to Simmons. I'm surprised I am not now reaching the call. Second chance shot. Howard can't hit. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down Slam it in, Lance. Lay it physical up. Physical defense. We'll and take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Open things up for them 
offensively. And now we're seeing six is shooting 47% from the field to start things off. Oh, nice. And Luke Curry kicks to Simmons. Stay in front of him, Garland. Stay in front. Avoid the screen. Outside Brent. Good job, good job. The pass to Curry. Got a piece of it. Lock at six. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain possession. Some changes for Philadelphia. Matisse Thibel checked in for Curry. And Maxi subbed in for Simmons. And Cleveland also making a change. Prince has checked in for Junior. That's a good first quarter. What? Eight? Uh, eight points, seven assists? That's not bad. We'll see. <laughs> oh, we had Philadelphia. Danny Green is checked in for Matisse Thibault. Uh, Curry comes in again. for Shea Milton. Right. And we'll it's Ben Simmons in for Maxi. Howard is out there with Grant. And it's Green. Then it's Curry. And it's Simmons in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor. For that was somebody else, David. And, and what a factor Ben Simmons is on the floor. Does so much for this team in every facet of the game. He's a triple double threat whenever he, he suits it. up. And sometimes people forget just how young Ben uh, Simmons is. I thought is about Greg really doing these sports. Just the beginning for like, I mean, and that's what fans are missing but I know my kids about sports. His age. I mean, you can worry about his shot. Yeah, it's but he has a this long time something. to figure it out. He could end up having a Jason Kidd type of a career where he becomes a solid shooter later on. We get and, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless <laughs> first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Passes it to Simmons. Oh! And Simmons slams it in. Oh, the joys of guarding against Ben Simmons. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough. How did I not get fouled on that one? On the backside. Here's Simmons. Makes it off the glass. And yeah. now, just a two-point Cavalier lead. You are not taking any shots while Simmons is in front of us. Simmons. Trucking it down the court and beating Williams passes to Middleton. Love right side. Nice form on the 20 footer. That's 10 points for Kevin Love. No, because now I'm what? Four for eight. About the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Pass to Simmons. And the 76ers tack on two more. A hard worker who really ferociously strives to improve. Simmons tonight has been unstoppable at the offensive end. Here's Truman. Ooh. I didn't know the if shot. I was going to speak to him. So oh, I know you appreciate this, Greg. So much of defense now is closing out on the three-point shooting and then protecting the rim. Consequently, pull-up jump shooters are super valuable and there like are a lot of good ones uh, in the NBA right now no doubt about it and, and and Kevin you know you think back. about a few oh guys James just Harden. because that's a man I mean, who he has height step back three but he's he a can guy guard him face to face ability, come up to his uh, chest to utilize your inability to defend that three-pointer Kyrie, Dame Lillard, those are some guys Chris Paul still as good as anybody in that mid-range area CJ McCollum these are guys that have really feasted and, and carved out a nice niche for themselves in the NBA because of that ability to take and make jump shots. And I love that list you're right on. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. The 76ers have shot 80% from the lines tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. Yeah, pretty good numbers on the season. Any other when time you look they say that about me, right the Right shot. around 78%. Say it about the other guys, and it's, they make the shot. Would it be? And both free throws good for Curry. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, does this last for tonight? This might be two weeks, two months. I love that, like that pass. It is just and so he's clean. An automatic finisher when he gets into that area. Get the he back and he picks the simple one hand stuff to get the two points. Time, which is always a now, here's Howard. Six points for him. So maybe I do need to. Floater, count it, and the Cavalier lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Curry. And the player gets a feel for that floater. You can really make things tough on defenders. You just 
not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. That's the drumming. I should have kicked that out to Love instead. The kick out to Williams. Middleton dishes to Drummond. Sexton the pass to Middleton. Double clutches. And it's Bradley it. with the rebound. I wanted to kick that out to Love. Bradley's got four rebounds. Pulled the defender tonight. off of him. So oh, There's yeah. Green with the three. Cavaliers with the rebound. Drummond's got six rebounds in the game. Middleton finds William. Middleton with it. The pass to Love. On the wing, Williams. Middleton left side. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Sexton for three. Yeah. Good, and the assist goes say, to Middleton. Sexton should have been able to hit that open. Middleton's Sorry, got nine quiet. assists in the game. Great pass. I'm not used to them. The 76ers so trail by five. Oh, come on. That was Timeout call the 76ers. That's they defeated the Wizards nice. in their last quarter. Well, you look at the on. points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Yeah, never stopped working. One of those games where just everybody was making shots, continual flow, and a very professional win. All right. Now, Ben? <laughs> Can't get that lucky. Outside, Simmons. Avery Bradley. And it's sent back by Drummond. Good job, Drummond. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. Here's Love, and he uses Tennis. the glass on the way up. I get a bonus. Love's got the lead like up to seven now for the Cavs. For a terrific all-around scorer, and tonight we're getting the full arsenal for Kevin Love. 76ers have gone 8 of 13 in the second quarter. Well above the 50% mark from the field. That's what I was waiting for. Not too happy about it, but that's nice. That's his first foul. Shake Milton, he's jacked in for Philadelphia. Yeah. He's really good with steals, too. I'm averaging like two, two and a half. Feet. He kicks to Bradley. 76ers moving the ball around. Yeah. Simmons uses the glass to pop it in. Mm. Simmons got nine points in the quarter. Solid it's in the just first. Frustrating. Fantastic here. And you want to play second. Good he was just waiting for the moment. Like that, so timeout call here. Yeah. The first for Cleveland. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. Yeah, in that game, the offense was firing on all cylinders, partly because the other team's defense was a no-show. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. Now here's Sexton. He had 28 points in the win against Orlando. Williams looking over the floor. A fadeaway, and the basket is good. Got it to go Got through the on one the contact, two. so a free throw coming up. A great Can opportunity for a three-point play. The Cavaliers have been coming through at the charity strike. They've made seven of their eight attempts. The Only thing. shooting 71, really, on the season, so there is plenty of room for improvement. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. This is not <laughs> a player who likes to be trailing tonight? in any game. That lights a fire. Well, when you look at the balance of power Ooh, between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. The shot's good from Love. You got to know that about Kevin Love. Yeah, He's going to take double, what the double defense in the first gives him that time. Is not in common. Common. I'm pretty proud of that. Curry kicks to Simmons. Oh, he jams it right over on Zay Drummond. Wow. Yeah, whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane jumping skills, he sees it. Middles in the pass to Sexton. Middleton against Simmons. Love's looking around. Six on the shot clock. 
Pass to Middleton. On deep. Three. It's hauled in by the 76. Try it. Got his three down here tonight. And his touches left him in this quarter. Nowhere close to the kind of output they need from him. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Sexton, and it's sent back by Howard. Now that reach of Dwight Howard's is so impressive. A dominant shot blocker and a tremendous athlete. Here's Simmons. Good. Nice job down low. Simmons got 21 in the game. Now it feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. And the Cavaliers call time here. Last time they met in Cleveland. And the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively. This oh, I didn't even realize I got sucked out. Yes. Kevin Love has been leading the charge for the Philadelphia 76ers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And now we got the first half lead, Aldridge, which is beneficial. But David. <sighs> I just wish um, I had coach. Dwight, what are you seeing from your opponent tonight? Thanks, David. <laughs> and we'll be back shortly. I just wish my head to get coach the third would quarter underway. Ben. Like, I don't mind guarding Seth Curry, but get me off Ben Simmons. I can't be in front of him. Not bad too. Plus five on the court. I really thought it was gonna be worse than that. It's terrible. I am not guarding Ben Simmons. In the gym, I work a lot. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so this far. This one's gonna be a close what one. What a game feel. we're seeing from Simmons. The burst he's had when going at the rim has been fantastic. A lot of strong finishes Long through two quarters. This is why the best athletes in the world play this game. If he finds a hole, he rips through and throws it down. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Cleveland, they've got Drummond. Juniors out there with Cowan Sexton. Then there's Kevin Love, and it's Williams at the small forward position. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Let's get it. Sexton has tremendous athleticism and a great motor. It's about now being a floor general in this new system. For Cleveland, they have attempted 11 free throws today and converted eight of them. You think the soccer would be no good on the free throw? I mean, I know Middleton's in the NBA. Chris Middleton is one of the best, one of the better shooting guards for the Bucks, or one of the better shooting guards in the NBA for the Bucks. But um, I'm surprised they don't make him on the free throw. And he sinks the so, second. Like phonetically, pronounced correctly. The 76ers it would be trail by cool three. To, uh, and maybe it's. Outside curve. That you could say your name in the conversation against the game. And then you can. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Very happy to be here. Oh, the lob for Simmons takes the alley oop pass and dunks it down. I can only be there to pass it. Just phenomenal timing from Simmons. Leaving the ground once the pass was released and tipping that bucket card. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. And that's exactly what you want to start the second half. Smart play call. Halftime talks can go all over the board, but right there coming out, that's the way you want to start the half. Be aggressive. And his whole career, Kevin Love, a fantastic passer at that position. Great vision for a big man. You think about it, Greg. He's one of those players who you're kind of watching throughout the course of any game, and you're hoping for that kind of highlight. I mean, that's rarefied air. It's not a dunk, but we're waiting for a Kevin Love outlet pass that tells you it's special. Yeah, but they're three or four to start the second half. And it goes down two points. Now it's a six-point Cavalier lead. Well, the talk at halftime must have been a good one right now. Three straight buckets to start the quarter. Three 
is inside. Defended by Sexton. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Drummond. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. This is one that I know that I can get away from with him. This, uh, this environment with him. This part of the court. Curry against Sexton. Down to five on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. Curry's shot is off. Cleveland leading by six. Puts one up from 19. And there's Sexton. That's good on the assist by Drummond. You can see who was Sexton's who got five points shot. in the quarter. Nice. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the 76ers. That's to Scott. against Curry. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. Drummond is just the Middleton. Good for his sixth make and a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Oh, great ball movement there. Averaging the more 76ers system. trail by right, 10. Guys are looking Average for a spot here. Yeah, a cold stretch yeah, offensively. I think I, I, think sure. I remember that. You know, if we get down in the game, it's like, you know, you know, Curry looking around. around. Down low. Here's Scott. Yeah. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Flop. It's on Ooh, Colin Sexton. Oh, the officials are all over that. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously, coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley and, and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country, if you will, was also uh, a, a really cool experience as well. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. I miss and going Seattle, to right? Let's get back oh, in both Seattle. those cities. Exactly. Exactly. Offensive rebound. Tries again. Williams passes to Middleton. And that one is on. Middleton is interested in the other way. Green against Sexton. Howard kicks to Simmons. Simmons it in. And Simmons really using his insane athleticism on that drive. A remarkable penetrator who really cards up the defense. Back to Sexton. Cleveland moving the ball around. Inside. Here's Middleton. That one drops for him. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And some changes here for the 76ers. Tony Bradley comes in for Dwight Howard. Oh, thank you. And I'm not hurting against for Ben Simmons anymore. Greg, after we saw top prospects like LaMelo Ball and R.J. Hampton playing a year in Australia, the NBA G League sweetened the deal hey, to attract those blue chippers to this, uh, to this G League, which I think is a very interesting uh, topic and a, and a very interesting way to go. It, it is. You know, I think the salaries now yeah. can exceed a half million dollars, not to mention the endorsement deal and they're on a single team that's built around their needs. Certainly an enticing option for those who want to skip the college route. Does this affect colleges, in your opinion, and their recruiting? Not at all. You're going to love your school no matter who plays for them, especially if you're winning. Ask the Maxi. This is the Bramble. Just five on the clock. We're getting the Cavaliers down. leading by 13. Here's Williams. The basket good off the assist from Sexton. Sexton's got his third assist on the night. Now, here's Maxi. The penalty by Middleton. And that that was on me. That was on Take responsibility. I was not the Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. 
Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. And the pass to Drummond. That one goes in. Drummond's got 10 points in the game. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And the 76ers call time here. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no We're resistance away. inside. We are pulling away, and that is the best feeling. Oh, my gosh, we're up by 23 now. We're up by six. And it's out of bounds. The Cavalier is able to retain oh, like possession here. here. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Give him the ball. Move Lance up. 40 seconds left in the third quarter. And he comes up with the deuce. Sexton's got seven now in this quarter. Too easy that time. Sexton sniffing it out and then getting to an area on the floor that made that one easy. Now here's Milton. Defense right on him. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you oh, all. Oh, I didn't even realize I lost the ball. Now, here's Maxi, defended by Allen. Now, Milton. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Gets it off. Dang. No good. One of these days, and I'm going to drain one the third of quarter, Pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Ooh, man, we opened Cavaliers it up on the top, third. Running I'm away with take it. me and being off a single advantage the catalyst. Because I got two quick steals. We turned them over into points. And we reached the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. And the oh, yeah, Cavaliers with possession. In. They lead by City the biggest Oseman margin of the game, 25. Starting, We've really got close. Ferguson. Corkmaz is out there with Matisse Thibel. Then it's Green. And it's Poirier in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. Philadelphia shooting at 51%. Really solid. Bible lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Bible okay, I'm, the it's not, I'm just a terrible defender. Deflects the pass. And the terrible open. Get outside, get outside. in the pass to Allen. And again, another assist. That makes... 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Gotta have those good 15, assist, uh, 15 assist games. Bible kicks to Corkmaz. Actually, in the running for the All Star team this year. Passes to Ferguson. Lets it go with a three. Hangs on the trifecta. What do you Ferguson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. This is an area where Ferguson wants to improve consistent three point shooting. Over in the corner, Osman. Back to Middleton. Over Thibel. They get it. I back. hit. I passed. To Middleton. If you believe me, I, I hit pass. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Shot clock at five. Here's Osman, and it's good from the elbow. Osman's got his first points of the well, night. I decided to go for the butt shot. I will never Here's Philadelphia. Get and we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Here's Corkmans. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Here's Love. Makes it down to Middleton. Osman, the pass to Middleton. Middleton is doubled to the inside. Yeah. Six to shoot. And that I was one's trying to get it Osman. back so I could throw it. I love to having Osman a knack for recognizing things, when a teammate's going to break wide open. I'm just trying to get it. 76ers have gone two or three from the one. field to get the fourth quarter start. Bible, the bounce pass. Here's Poirier from past the arc. Another three for Eight. Philadelphia. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to Who's be slacking three? off a little bit. Timeout called Cleveland. 
And Korkmaz, the Turkish guard, take it at the end of the first round in 2016. Spent a year overseas before joining the NBA and didn't play much early on. But last season he showed he's a starting caliber player. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for Cleveland. Pass to Williams. Green against Love. He's looking for Middleton and finds him. That falls. Great assist by Love. Love's got three assists in the game. Shooting way better. Alec Korkmaz standing 6'7". Great. There's a lot to like. And his size can be a huge yeah, no, advantage yeah, that's in that's certain that's matchups, that's Kevin. Still. Great wingspan also lets him grab a fair amount of steals. Has worked hard to get where he is and still showing room to grow. And I like the subtle adjustment he made to create a little space for that one. Yeah, that's an awesome finish there for sure. Not allowing that big guy to have his way or or alter the shot. Middleton finds William. Now, here's Sexton. Middleton left side. Terrific hey. assist. A Good nice finish. Center, Solid Charles play Faye. all around. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Not the best. Green dishes to Curry. Well, take it. Greg, it's pretty typical for players of the past to talk about current players and say they may have struggled had they played when I played. What do you think of that line of thinking? You know, I, I, I just don't oh, agree with really that. Jared Allen. I, I think we all do that. You had anybody in your you way? Like you would have decapitated was somebody. The best. I had the same thoughts being passed my way when I first came into the league. I'm but sure. The reality is these guys work just as hard as guys work back in our era. They just have more understanding of what their value is and in a lot of ways they've got more courage to speak out because you know let's face it they're more of a bullseye on their back in today's era with social media than we've ever seen before that is true that's why you see people simmons feeling it out a bit president because you know they have an active you have to get in front of Troy Howard. He has that kind of room to soar. He's going to finish alley oops. The NBA encouraged or allowing players to Allen gets the Middleton. Stand up for activism in their jersey names. Outside Williams, which is great. It doesn't even lie. This is not and it's Prince penetrating the use of activism because it's it's something that shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Prince using it on the drive here, being physical and getting in there and forcing the D to come in and be physical with him. Um, I guess <laughs> maybe it's just a skewed view for me. Take a break. Take a break. Two but stop. People who are the first one falls. We know Greg. The NBA is full of statements and judgments, and different things in the political realm. Just to worry about Sexton finds Middleton. Our younger kids. Williams with a clean look. That's in there. Love with the look assist. Up to Williams has got nine Sexton. points now in just the second half. I'm always afraid that they're going to look up. And, you know, now, here's Maxi. Defended by Middleton. And slam dunk by Maxi. Gives the team that is such a great element. Having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly so, something yeah, every team of, wants to have. Like to see assist that assist assertiveness, stuff. especially uh, from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Back to Middleton. Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got rebound number eight here tonight. That's the other thing. And that one's good, Simmons. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Williams passes to Middleton, and he floats in for the easy two. Last night, he had one. like a 95% Big miscommunication in on defense. He recognizes um, it and quickly takes there it back. There was a lot of, well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment. I want to say Devin Bell, right now. but don't play just lighting him up. I know he dealt with it. the pass to Maxi. I don't I thought it came. And the foul called on Junior. Thank you. 
That's foul number two for him. Um, but I just worry the that extinction of that great like, NBA big men. Do you see yeah. it that way? And if so, Greg is the game that has changed or perhaps a dip in the talent at that position. To the likes of and Russell there's greater Kareem, things to look up to somebody Hakeem, for outside of Robinson and Shaq. You know, you some would say, well, we just got lucky. But in a lot of ways, we still have the dominance of the big man. They just play more outside of the paint, right? You know, Giannis. Yep. You look at what he can do. Anthony Davis and the way he plays the game. I mean, oh, LeBron, God. in essence, is a big man. I mean, you still can dominate the game as a big it's just that you now can actually in some respects have more impact because you are involved in more facets of the game there's no way i was getting around the way cleveland moving the ball around the shot's that's good take the middle has got eight points in the quarter you can make it so much easier yeah, my, for your teammates my only when you throw that lead pass that gets I mean, to him right on the money whether yeah, that's on the run right or in the shooting New pocket York, uh, New York here's maxi that's rebounded by Cleveland. We'll have a hard time yeah, shaking that one off. Perfect position, and plenty of space. Like, uh, just clanked it. How do you do and, and as we team head team. to the final I buzzer understand. here, a crushing you have blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books a as a county win for the Cavaliers. And this was one that it never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. Can you kind of thought oh. that maybe even going into the game? But yeah, there, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just nice. pretty much blew them right Good out enough. of the water. A Good clinic enough. was put if on he display had, had here today. Aim for the year now, they'll be tallying the their said, yeah, 16th yeah, win. For him and they put had, themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a 2-1 to one edge. Beginning with only one left to play. Trust hey, you know, guys, what a no, nice performance it was for enough. Junior. And the way he was able to dice up their D with his passing really made things easy for everyone else on his team. Prince, the pass to Windler. Just four to shoot. Down low. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. Yeah, it looks like a <laughs> team tonight getting out <laughs> on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, Sorry. Fully in control for this win. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game time. And the foul this called on good. Junior. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh, Here's Maxi. Got it. Good job in the low post. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll yeah. will still be Big an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. <laughs> And Cleveland can just let the clock run down here. Now here's Middleton. Beyond the arc. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. A resounding Got victory 30, for them. That's and Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. Huh. So for David Aldrich, crazy. Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Maybe since I'm streaming it, I'll I'll take I'll go around. Like I said, I guess we'll go through it. You know, spend the last little bit dealing with it. Probably only gonna play for another half-ish hour, and then I'm gonna kind of sit and talk at the end and reflect on this stream. As chaotic as it was, <laughs> which it was, and I wholeheartedly want to say I'm sorry about that. Um, I don't know why my mouse decided to die on me. I don't know what I did to cause it to, considering it's worked no problem. I knew the battery was dying, so I definitely thought that was part of it. But I don't know what I did. 
So let's explore, because I'm... Is there beach life in my court? No. I'm good. Not a, I'm not about this. Like, I, I love the my player experience. I don't need all these bells and whistles. Like, <laughs> voted meat substitute 20 to voted 29th best meat substitute so go on down to to the town here and get your meat substitute hey that's me nice all public bathrooms I haven't been down here before, so I don't know what what all is going on. Oh, it's like guys having. Yeah, it just looks like guys being dudes. I'm not an online player, mainly because I just I don't think I'm that good, so I don't play with anybody. Um, so, but we can run around and check out some stuff. Pro-am? No. Good. Ooh, swags. Going and see what kind of clothing we can get. For 1200 bucks. I promise they're not showing up for me uh, me either. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's get some treats. Compression shirt. Short sleeve. Oh, navy blue, that's me. That's me, baby. That's like 1500 bucks. But yeah, we're good. I don't have the money. Whoops. NBA store. I wonder if they sell my jersey. Or buy my own jersey. That way I can support myself. Be a jersey. Uh -huh. that's nice. Yeah, that's another cool thing too. They, uh, 2K21, yeah, 2K21 was the first one that incorporated the WNBA, and I thought that was just really dope. I love, I love that. Like, just in general, this logo. Oh, let's get some Cleveland gear. Sports squad. Not that price. I don't have money. I guess I should be using some of the money I get from brand deals to, uh, you know, maybe focus on that. That can't be good. Ooh, what's over here? Nothing. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized. Oh, she's a wreck. Ooh, this is new. I haven't explored it. Like I said, I don't care for the story. I just... Are you serious? There's seriously nothing that lets me back out. Seriousness. Ah! I'm sorry. Did not know this was going to be part of it.
Just take me out of the queue. Seriously. Dumb. Just ten volt dumb. Actually, you know what? Let's end it there. Uh, we'll end it doing it like we did last week. Um, hopefully, <laughs> without my computer exploding. Um, uh, by watching my message or my video that came out today. Why is that what this stream is called on YouTube? Is this seriously under trying again Super Mario Sunshine 4? Are you kidding me? I just hate when it does that. I hate it when it does that. I hate it when it does that. Um, but yeah, I had a video come out today. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. Now, if you didn't know, I'm in a process of catching up on my uh, messages that I do on Sunday. So this is from a long time ago, as you can tell, 8-8. Eight, eight. But uh, it was a good one. So, but for today, um, I'm going to take us back to a couple verses, just before our sermon text, and talk about encouraging us. Um, Hebrews 10, 24 through 25a is where I'll be focusing as a reminder that we need to help each other stay strong. And it actually says this. We should think about each other to see how we can encourage each other to show love and do good works. We must not quit meeting together as some are doing. No, we need to keep encouraging each other. It was funny, some backstory with this message. Um, well, I remember this Sunday was one of those Sundays where we had a really hard scripture to wrestle with. Um, my pastor does uh, er, did a series called Sermon Stumpers where people would send in a scripture, a question, a story that they wanted her to expand on. And being on the worship design team, I get to also help create the service. So I remember we ran through a very heavy stretch of one. And this was one of them, because I think the scripture was Hebrews eleven twenty six through 33 or something like that. And I had a hard time just choosing something that was like, yeah, we'll do that one. So I chickened out and did the previous scripture. But I also thought it was good to do kind of a, a softer message on a more familiar verse, in my opinion. So, so what does it mean? Or what does it mean for us? to learn how to encourage each other and to show love and to do those good works. For me, it kind of boiled down to the essence of showing others what it means to love like Christ. Jesus simply tells us that we need to love each other like he loved us. And this can be through our words, whether it's a phone call, a text message, a Facebook message, a letter in the mail. You know, we can share others words of encouragement, words of affirmation, and the care and love that God has shown to us. And, and it can also be done through our actions, whether we take a meal over to somebody who's been having a rough time, driving somebody to a place where they need to be, just going and being in the presence with somebody else, and the list goes on. Again, that level of encouragement, that level of care and love that Jesus shared with us. And notice, too, that this level of encouragement is something that doesn't come from yourself. The author states that we should not quit meeting together. And I know we've all dealt with bouts of separation and isolation due to different stages that this pandemic has shown. But as Pastor Stacy said at every service, the Holy Spirit still keeps us together. And the number of ways that I've been able to keep people connect with other people when we cannot connect physically is a lot. It's actually kind of astonishing. Now, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea to do a digital in, 
but you're still able to do life together. We're still wrestling that point even ourselves uh, today. I mean, granted, this was only two months ago, but it's funny to, to think back over the course of the pandemic and how the ministry has been affected and and think how that little bit right there to figure out how to stay connected digitally in a time where we can't connect physically. And, oh, boy, that has been a rocky 12 months. No, longer than that now. Because we came back in June. No, well, July 12th was our first Sunday back from the pandemic when it started. And we had to go back to close at the end of August. I think we came back in September. Wait until November. So we bounced between digital, physical, digital, physical, digital, physical. And it was just hard. It still is hard. And I talked about that at the beginning of the stream. It's just hard. Life is easier when we do life together. Which means doing life through Christ and doing life with the body of Christ. Jesus guides us doing life, but the body of Christ is there to support and encourage us. Jesus guides us to do what he needs us to do and the body encourages us to stay on the path that Christ is guiding us on. The passage, the passage that I read ends with us needing to encourage each other. And I know it's a little backwards from my normal style of reading that verse, so, but I had to look up the definition of encouragement. Encouragement is defined as the act of giving someone support, confidence, or hope. So as we go through the rest of today's service, and as we go through our weekly service, let's remember to give support to those who need it. Let's remember to give confidence to those who need it. And let's remember to give hope to those who need it. Jesus gives us all that and more, and he shows us that we can do it without fear. The video paused itself. I mean, I know it was at the end, so but okay. still. The video paused itself. I got confused. Um, so, yeah. It's <laughs> way back in October. Or August. But, yeah. It's good to, it was a good message. I was, I'm really happy with that one. And, uh, yeah. There's a lot I'm still... I look at some of these messages, um, which you guys can't see now, but... Um, the different ones I've done for Sunday morning, um, running interference, fear for the future, labor pains, um, let's hear about was kind of an odd duck power differences. That one I wrestled, had to wrestle with for a while. I'll have to explain that next week, but, uh, but yeah, so Again, I really, I really feel like I need to reinforce this with everyone. Um, I'm okay. I want to make that fully clear. I'm okay. Um, consider what I'm going through is just a creative rough patch in trying to figure out things in person while also maintaining online. And maybe, you know, maybe it is the time in the season that we need to move away from online ministry and focus more so in person and if that's the case that's the case you know like i like i said earlier i said we're focusing more on where god's moving us rather than where we want to be moved um and that's difficult difficult um but we'll get there we will we will get there. All it takes is time. All it takes is patience. And all it takes is trust. No matter what, it's hard. It's hard to trust in a time where it feels like the last thing you want to do but 
we can do. So, but again, I am okay. Um, just in a very much creative funk. But we'll get out of it. We'll get out of it together. Um, as I said, I will be working on getting Sunshine finished. So when we come back next week or next Saturday, um, we will be uh, finishing that up. And then we'll jump right into uh, Link's Awakening. Apologize for the Delta Rune tease, but I do now remember how um, adult some of the language is. And obviously I cannot do that here. So I apologize for that, but... Um, we will make it work and complete honesty. The stream may not even stay up to the public. It may go away after a little bit. I don't know. Um, so I really don't know. I'm, I'm talking with the, uh, with the moves I have right now with, the, I should, should call it with the mood I'm in right now. Um, So we'll just have to wait and see. The world is our oyster. Um, but I, that is where I'm wrapping it up for today. Um, again, apologies for the all overness of this stream. Um, but we will get back to normalcy around here soon. And again, remember... September or October 16th is the next stream. We start weekends. Follow us on socials. I'll have it. I'll have the reminders up there, but that is what is going on. Again, thank you all for watching. And as always, stay blessed. <laughs>